Finally, guys, I'm teaching you how to treat uh, double bottom and double tops. And uh, in this video, I will start with the double top. So we will be talking about double tops, stroke double bottoms. But we will highlight, we'll start with the double tops first. And this is episode one. So if you have ever wanted to trade this pattern, I think these are your series. This The whole of this series, I don't know how many videos you will, will get to. I don't know how many episodes you'll get to. But in this series, it will be short videos because there is no much to eat. It will be short videos, but be guaranteed by the time you are finishing these episodes, you will have known how to trade the pattern, okay? So I know majority of you have had people uh, impersonating me. Others are texting me to tell me to ban those people. There is no way I can ban more than, I think, 50 people on Telegram, on TikTok. They are there. So this is the only number you can use to WhatsApp me. I sell a course that is $1,000, 10 profitable strategies. I don't do Bitcoins. I don't do anything else apart from the training, okay? So we are doing the double tops in this episode. This is episode one. So basically, a double top means when the market, um, a double tops means when the market creates a resistance, then the seller takes over. Then buyers comes again and they are unable to do what? To break that resistance. So there was a resistance created by buyers. Then sellers came down. So anytime you see the market going up is a representation of green candles. So the, we had buyers coming up and we have another one coming up and another one coming up. And then when they reach here, how is resistance created is when a sell red candle happened. So when we have a red candle, it means a resistance has been created. So that resistance is created. Then the seller continues to go down, continues to go down. So the sellers can be either it's an exhibition of the market, retest, whatever uh, thing that may make sellers come in, but it's not for a long term. And then eventually buyers take over. So how is red support created when a red candle is followed by a green candle? And then now sub resistance is created and market starts to buy again. And still they come to the same, same spot and they fail to break out. So sellers comes in because they have spotted that certain area where buyers are not able to break. That's how a double top is formed. Are we together? So a double top is formed when the market fails to break one same zone twice. So you can see here, we, we tried, we didn't break. They came again, they tried, we didn't break. So what happens is that when you see a pattern, market attempting the first time failing, attempting the second time failing, what you need to understand is that that market is on the way to this neckline. And in this case, it is a support. So the sellers are viewing that they want to push this market back to here. Either they break it or they can even reach here and the market still continues. So I have tried to trade the market when you get an opportunity to trade up the neckline, but I found sometimes the market was reaching halfway. So all my double, I first have my half position on ready because the market can reach there and eventually it goes up. So I came to realize, oh, it's not a must the market first to go to the neckline. It can start coming to half the neckline. So basically that's how the market is. And it can come to the neckline, then a half the neckline and then continue. So that's what a double top is. So we have two types of double top, two types. of double top. So we have a double top on an uptrend. A double top on an uptrend is very hard to trade. And I'll show you why. And then we have a double top on a downtrend. Downtrend. It's easy to trade. Okay. Double top on an uptrend is hard to trade double top on a downtrend. So when you talk of an uptrend, 
we are seeing a market that is on an uptrend like that up, up, then you find this double top. Initially, they promote sell opportunity. Uptrend promotes buy opportunity. That's why we are saying you, you are trying to reverse this market, but the market wants to continue with the trend. The market wants to continue with the trend. So anytime you see a double top on an uptrend, it's a bit hard to trade. I'm not saying it can't sell, but it's hard. The double tops that I want you to pay attention is double top that are that are on a downtrend. They are easy to trade. Anytime you spot a double top on a downtrend, easy to trade. You see, very easy to trade. So that when you find a double top here, the market will eventually sell because the double tops comes to promote sell and it is on a downtrend, okay? So those are the two types. So the one that will be concentrating is the double top on the downtrend. So what you do, you open your chart. Number one, you have to identify your chart is on a downtrend because you have said double tops that are on downtrend, they are easier to trade, okay? That's what we have said, double tops that are on downtrend. You can see this market is a very, very big downtrend. So once you have that market is on a downtrend, you can see just to go to the first two candles of your chart. So this is the first two candles. The reason why I say the first two candles is because the current candle has not closed yet. So I cannot tell you just concentrate with the first candle. The first two candles meaning the first candle has not closed. This one has not closed. This one has closed. So that's why we deal with the first two candles. So you go to the first two candles and you highlight like this. And the third thing to do, so the first thing is to identify the market structure we have seen is a downtrend. So even if we find a double top, it will be good for us. The second thing, what you do is to identify these two trades, um, these two candles. So I will go, I will go to on the left. If I check on the left, I will see where the market stopped. I have a resistance. You can see this week where it stopped, I have a resistance. So the market had attempted, so you put a box like that. You can put two lines. So let me show you how to put the two lines. So you can put the first line at the resistance, at the weak, and the second line at the body. Can you see? Like that. So why are we concentrated with here? It's because this candle, the two candles, one has activated that area. So one at the body, the other one at the weak. And then you draw a box like that. Once you draw a box, that is your possible double top. The reason why we call possible double top is because this market can do what? Possible. Double top. The reason why we think possible double top is because this market, this market can do what? Can continue buying. What if the next candle is green and it continues buying? So nobody knows, oh, this double top is accurate, or oh, it is possible because the market can continue buying and there's nothing you can do. Okay. So that's why we call it a possible double top. Now, this possible double top, it's on a downtrend, giving us the first uh, a, um, confirmation it might sell. Now, once you have the possible double top, you need to identify your neckline. So how do you identify your neckline? From the first attempt, you take, you mark your lowest point. So my first attempt, I will mark my lowest point. So from here, my first attempt, where is my lowest point? This is my lowest point. So I will come and I mark my lowest point like that. And then from again, from my first attempt, so every time we are dealing with the first attempt, you will mark your half. So this is our half value. So I want you, by the time you are done with this video, you can be able to open your chart and you go step by step and identify the double bottom. So this is my neckline. And this is my half, guys. So I want you, this episode was to help you to identify that. And when we come to episode two, 
I want you to now understand uh, the strategy to trade. Before even we go to the uh, second strategy, the first strategy for the double top is identifying if it is OPT. So because this is a daily time frame, this we are on the daily time frame. So this is the daily time frame. We'll be able to go to the weekly time frame. See us going to the weekly time frame and seeing we do not have that resistance. This is that resistance that we are seeing on the first attempt. We don't have. This is a red, 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 red. That's what we say. The double top is an OPT because what you're seeing here, red, red, green, 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 followed by red creates a resistance on the weekly we don't have. So this is not only a double top. This is daily time frame. Daily, daily time frame. Daily time frame. OPT. Double top. That's what we call it. And now once you have this, now you can use your three most uh, uh, things that the, every trader need to have. That is the entry, the target, and the exit. And in the next episode too, I think that's what we'll do because majority of people don't know the strategy for the double top. They keep asking me what is WBB. That's what we are coming to do in episode two. So. I hope now you have been able to identify. Before you say this is my possible double top, let it be on a downtrend. That one will make, you are guaranteed to make money. So the first thing, your double top should be, number one, on a downtrend. And then number two, it should be OPT. So that is the two things that we need for any double top to be, uh, to be accurate. It has to be on a downtrend and then it has to be OPT. So in the next episode, I will come to show you the strategy now. So number three is the strategy that we'll be using. Number three is the strategy of the double top. Okay, guys, all the best. Uh, hope you are enjoying this episode. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this double top. Do you use it? Has it made you money? And see you in the next episode too. Bye-bye. Love you.